We're continuing our tour of locally owned bookstores this week, and right now we're headed up to Zionsville to get to know the enchanting story of Black Dog Books. We opened Black Dog Books in Zionsville's historic village in 2010. Sophie is our beloved black lab. She's our mascot that goes with the name Black Dog Books. The store was named after a previous lab, uh, Chloe. So Sophie, uh, black lab Sophie, followed Chloe, and she had big paws to fill. But she loves greeting everybody and uh, kissing everyone. So I say, you have good luck for a day if you've been kissed by Sophie. I was lucky to be raised with books, and they've always been a passion for me. I've always been a reader, and I just want to share the passion with everybody else. And beautiful leather-bound books steal the show here, but we also have local author books and new books that share the shelves. So in honor of our ma Sophie and, and Chloe, we also sell black dogs along with books. And every day somebody buys a dog at least. We, they come in all sizes, but this is our softest one. And this seems to be the one that everybody, the most people buy. We just got a, an astonishing uh, Civil War collection in. These photos are actually made from the actual negatives of Brady during the Civil War. All the photos in this portfolio. And this is our Indiana room. We have a lot of local authors. There's a book signed by Eli Lilly. Um, a lot of beautiful bindings. A lot of Riley, Booth Tarkington. Rosalind Crowley lives right here in the village. She's a poet and an artist. She's had many book signings here. We try to teach people how to take care of their books so they can pass them on. Um, we get the most wonderful, astonishing books in the bookstore all the time. So it's like a curiosity shop too. You never know what you're gonna find. I love the reliability of a book, but I'm happy that there are many pathways to reading. Whatever will bring people to reading and enjoying books works. Kindles and books can coexist like elevators and staircases can. One day, Sophie said to me, you know, this is the life. This is really the life. I fully agree with her, and we are living happily ever after. Thank you to Black Dog Books for hosting us and to WRTV Chief Photographer Jason Strong for that wonderful interview and video. You can find Black Dog Books at 115 South Main Street in Zionsville. It's open 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday and 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Sundays.